All right, so here we are in the Model Y. We've got the button for the full self-driving beta request. Uh, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us seven days of evaluation of our driving and then we are in a queue to potentially get the beta whenever Tesla decides that uh, I'm a safe enough driver and they want more participants in the beta. So obviously that's going to be dependent on how well it's going and uh, how well I drive. Um, but the good thing is, is that I actually have two different cars to compare and I believe it is directly tied to the VIN. So the driving will be split mostly in the Model Y between my wife and I. And so you will be able to see two different difference, you know, two different uh, sets of data here. Uh, because in the Model 3, which I primarily drive, I will be using uh, autopilot almost exclusively or all the time that I can. So we'll see if that actually helps get the beta sooner. Then, uh, whereas in the Model Y, uh, my wife rarely uses autopilot, usually just sometimes on the interstate. So she likes to drive manually a lot. Um, for short drives, especially like on the side side roads, she never uses autopilot, only on the interstate. So that will be interesting to see if there's any difference in how soon you get the beta based on that, uh, or if we can even tell from that, or on the rating of how good you are as a driver, how much that is factored into it. I wonder if it will give us a message on the Model Y that says you could use uh, autopilot more frequently and that would be good. But We'll see. So that'll be interesting to find out. But for now, let's just check and see where it is in the menu. So we got the software update and there's actually no really release notes for this software update. Very slow. There it goes. So yeah, the update literally is uh, request full self-driving beta and the immersive sound, which we didn't get in that one, as well as uh, we didn't get this update the cabin camera, autopilot improvements, and the new language support. So these actually were added um, in between, because last one, last update we had was 2021.24, so we got some more languages here. We got the cabin camera, so this will actually use the, cab the in-cabin camera here uh, to check if you are alert and paying attention. And the immersive sound, um, just some audio improvements. Honestly, not a big deal for us. But that request button is there, so let's go ahead and check that out. It is, we thought it was going to be in the service area where you could request it, but actually it's in the autopilot area. Right here at the top, would you like to request full self-driving beta? You just check that off. Read your little uh, disclaimer here. Basically, they're going to give you a safety score and suggest ways that you can uh, be a better driver, that's going to be tracked through the app rather than in the car itself. So that's kind of interesting that you can check it any time. Maybe go for a drive, come back, see what it's got. Uh, it is supposed to be pretty real time, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll see how real time it is. I'm going to take a drive this morning just to check it out in the Model 3. Then you just check off those. I accept everything, accept, and there you go you are enrolled into full self-driving beta queue. Again, what that means to me is you're in a queue and whenever they decide that they're gonna start rolling it out to more people, if you're a good driver and uh, they need more people to get more data on the full self-driving beta, then maybe you get called on to actually get it in your car and be able to use it. So we'll see how that goes. Again, I have two different cars the Model 3 and the Model Y. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the differences are between the two as far as, you know, what the what the good driver, bad driver type of, type of rating is. I don't believe it's tied in any way to the profile. So Model Y is gonna be driven by two different people. And again, one doesn't use autopilot much and the other uses more. This is all just for getting in the queue to get the beta. So hopefully, the better the driver you are, the more likely you are to get it, but we really don't know what Tesla's gonna do as far as giving us the access to the beta and who's gonna get it or when. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But I am curious to see how this uh, driving rating 
actually works out. So we'll check that out, take a first drive, and then I'll see if I get anything, any feedback from this first drive in the Model 3 actually uh, to see what it says on the app. All right, so I'm back from my first drive with the uh, safety score on there. And I actually did find after updating the app, the Tesla app on my phone, it did actually show me that safety score right there in the app. So pretty cool. I'll show you the a few screenshots of that. I do have a score of 93 after the first dri drive. It was, uh, let's see, first drive was about eight miles. So not very far, um, and apparently uh, I had some hard braking. There was one time actually at a stoplight that uh, somebody I thought was going to be going and they ended up not going. So I did have to brake a little bit harder than I had probably had wanted to. So that's what I'm thinking is probably the one event uh, out of that eight miles that I had harder braking than I probably would have liked. and it tracked it immediately uh, on that app. So pretty cool that it gives that direct feedback and it tells you some different things that you can do uh, to do better at your safety score. So that's pretty interesting. And I will be definitely really interested to see how this compares between the two uh, cars, but I did use autopilot literally as much as I possibly could, uh, given the, the fact that I can't actually turn. So you, you can't do navigate on city streets without the beta. Uh, so it's really just auto steer within the lanes as far as on side streets and I only did side streets. So I did do as much of the autopilot as I could. And I, I think that a 93, I assume it's out of a hundred, uh, is a good score. It did say that it was, uh, pretty safe, at least on the meter. So I think that's good. Uh, definitely going to try to improve on that and see, uh, what things actually crop up on my normal driving to improve upon. So pretty interesting stuff that that's on there. And, and in fact, honestly, this is really cool to have, even if I didn't want the beta or I didn't want, you know, the car to be driving itself anytime soon. I still think it's really cool to have that feedback on your driving habits and tips and tricks on how to be a better driver. Because I think a lot of people probably think they're really good drivers <laughs> and they're probably not like I probably think I'm a better driver than I am. And so it's really cool to have some direct feedback from all the aspects of the car because Tesla can track everything. They can track your exact speed. They can even see what the surroundings were, the, you know, the potential scenarios that you were in to do whatever uh, action you did in the car. So it's really cool to see how that might actually evolve over time and could improve people's ability to drive uh, more safely, just, just in general. So that's great, even if it doesn't uh, lead to full self-driving cars, it could lead to safer drivers, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of other insurance companies allow you to pop something in the OBD port and actually get, um, some safe driver discounts or whatever on your insurance. Um, so I'm not really sure how that compares to this because I, I haven't actually tried it. I think my dad has, so I might actually ask him about his opinion on that, but it is really cool that I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything with insurance or that, and I can get all this feedback. And I know Tesla has a lot more feedback that they can actually pull from again, because they have all the system, all the software within the vehicle to track everything including uh, the in-cabin camera. So uh, definitely going to be interesting to see how that works out. And I will keep you updated on how it goes. Again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.